Hello everybody and welcome back to Newegg TV. I'm Steve and today I'm going to do an overview on this AC600 Wi-Fi range extender from Amped Wireless. This is model number REC15A. And a brief look at the accessories that come inside the box. First and foremost, I want you to stop, drop, and roll and call them first before you return this product, which is great since, since we're an e-tailer. We want you to talk to them first before you return it anyways. That'd be much faster. Secondly, they're also providing for you a, a nice little analytics tool, uh, a Wi-Fi analytics tool from Amp Wireless. And I should say it's also from uh, our friends over at MetaGeek. Uh, maybe you're familiar with some of their other software, Channelizer and Wi-Spy. Uh, is, is are great products, but this one in particular is just a real quick Wi-Fi scanner to let you know your signal strength, as well as the SSIDs that are currently out there to help you sort of set up your Wi-Fi router for the most optimized Wi-Fi experience. Um, moving right along, they do provide for you uh, a documentation and installation video uh, CD, which is great if you have a CD-ROM uh, to be able to read that. And if you did, uh, that'd be fantastic because this particular CD-ROM has everything you're going to need on it in terms of videos. If you don't have an internet connection already, I suppose that's pretty important seeing as how this is, is intended to set up a Wi-Fi uh, extender in your household. So either way, there's some information here, but I recommend going to ampedwireless.com and uh, picking up the newest uh, drivers and software for this particular Wi-Fi extender. Uh, and then uh, last be, lastly, but it should be the first thing you read when you, when you open up this box, is the setup guide. And this is going to give you some instructions on exactly how to install everything. Some great pictures here of, of all the things you're going to need to do and all the instructions you are going to need. Now I'd like to defer to a full screen picture of something that is basically just a quick comparison chart of all the different uh, range extenders available from Amped Wireless. And you're probably looking at it right now thinking to yourself, well, that's actually a lot of different models, and they are. This one is the REC15A that I've already mentioned. It's the AC600 model just to the right, just below their top end model, I should say, on the top right there, uh, their AC1200 extender. And uh, based on your specific needs, you might actually opt for another extender on this list, but uh, this, this video is going to be focused on the REC15A. So take your time here. You can pause the video, look through the, the different features and uh, specs of the other models, and uh, keep those in mind in case this is not the right one for you. But like I said, we're moving forward with the REC15A. So here it is. Here's exactly what it looks like. I actually still have some of the plastic here that I can remove to show you exactly what it looks like. All right. Uh, white plastic, sort of clear with the, the back part of the plastic is actually painted white, so it sort of has a, a candied white, if that's such a thing, um, uh, representing the device. So it's just a plastic piece that goes right over the top, amped wireless logo there in the front. Uh, if I flip around to the back, you can see the AC adapter, the AC uh, plug here with the adapter built into it itself. And you just kind of plug this right into the wall. Uh, now, of course, you can also see that there's tons of different ventilation here that, that will obviously keep this device nice and cool. At the very top, you can see the SMA plug that's uh, available here to plug in the one by one antenna. antenna. There's also a small link indicator letting you know that you have Wi-Fi connectivity and transmission and reception. Uh, on the right side of the top here, you also have uh, the WPS button and the reset button to reset this back to defaults. Before I forget, there's actually a little bit of information here on the very back uh, describing for you your MAC address, should you need that, as well as the other information as the, in terms of the default uh, login information and SSID. And on the bottom, you can see we also have a uh, 10100 Ethernet port here for wired connectivity for your Ethernet port. Uh, you could basically turn this device into a bridge so that you could connect maybe your, your smart TV that doesn't have wireless uh, capability and connect it directly into that. So you just plug this in and allow it connection to your wireless network. Now a couple more things I wanted to mention. There's also the detachable uh, one by one antenna which should be floating around here somewhere. I'll get that for you in a moment. Uh, but it does have a 2.4 gigahertz uh, connectivity obviously because it is AC. You're getting a total of 150 megabits per second for your uh, 2.4 gigahertz devices. On the 5 gigahertz band, you're looking at 433 megabits per second, giving you the AC600 that, that I mentioned before. Uh, of course, that detachable antenna is high gain, and Amp Wireless likes to point out that they boost their reception and transmission signals up to 2 dBi and 500 uh, milliwatts, for resp respectively, in an effort to uh, maximize the range uh, on this device. So aside from that, there are a couple other uh, smaller features here, but also ones I want to mention. You can create up to eight guest networks. It's also compatible with Air 
print, air, play, and home sharing for you Apple users out there. So I did find that antenna rolling around in the drawer somewhere, and it, once again, it is a one by one, so it's just a single antenna uh, that, that they're using. It's also adjustable, so you can set it up however you want to, and also because it is using that SMA type connector, you'll be able to purchase your own antenna if you don't want this particular omnidirectional antenna or if you want uh, a specialized antenna instead. But let's go ahead and jump into the software just because I want to show you exactly what it looks like and ooh and awe you. So I've installed the Wi-Fi analytics tool from Amped Wireless, and I also want to mention, of course, it is also MetaGeek's software. You can see here it's Insider 2.1 uh, that's sort of been reskinned to work with Amped Wireless, which is awesome. I mean, this is great software. And just to give you an idea of what the software is used for, you're basically going to be able to see all the different SSIDs uh, of the different wireless networks within range of your system. Now, I want to mention, too, that they have set up this software to work. They haven't restricted the software to work with just Amp Wireless um, uh, Wi-Fi wi adapters. In this particular case, I'm not actually using an Amp Wireless. Uh, Wi-Fi adapter, uh, but if you have one at your household that's not Amped Wireless, that's fantastic. If you do, that the, that means you're basically going to be able to use this software with anything to configure your network. So uh, so thank you to Amped Wireless and MetaGeek for making sure that, that is the case. Uh, your mileage may vary, though. I'm not sure if it's for every other uh, you know hardware manufacturer out there, but it's definitely working for the one I'm using currently. Now, that said, you can see all the different SSIDs of the different wireless uh, radios that are currently within range of my Wi-Fi adapter right now. And then you can basically utilize the software to take a look at exactly how you're going to want to optimize your network to work with those other Wi-Fi uh, routers and, and uh, devices that are out there. So here's a time graph just showing you the amplitude. You can see there's actually quite a bit of transmission happening right now. Um, at a close range. So I'll jump over to 2.4 gigahertz to give you an idea of, of what our network looks like currently and the things you're going to want to solve and, and fix if you have the ability to do so. So you can see several of them are sort of stacked on top of each other. This is the channel that it's currently connected to and, that, and this is exactly why they recommend when you set up your router to work uh, either in the auto selection or specifically selecting 1, 6, or 11. Uh, you can see these, these are all set up great. The problem isn't the ones that are stacked on top of each other. Actually, the problem is the ones that are overlapping like this. Uh, we have this OverDrive one, the My Wi-Fi, and the NETV1900. NETV1900, you can see, is actually centered around two, the channel two. And that bleeds over into these other channels, which causes interference, which causes problems. The Wi-Fi routers can't talk to one another, and it just causes interference issues. They'll, you'll have drop signal and the like. So in this particular case, what we'd want to do is actually change it from uh, any TV's 1900 current channel uh, broadcasting at 2 and change that over to 1. Now it'll be able to talk with everything else without any issue. The, these two aren't within our control. Now, there's software you can get that can help you isolate who is transmitting these uh, devices, but because it's at work, we could technically just send out an office-wide email and say, whoever is operating under, under these two uh, SSID names, please move them to either channel 1, 6, or 11 to uh, keep them from bleeding over and interfering with these other uh, Wi-Fi devices. So that's just a quick explanation as to how you can use this software to, uh, to optimize your wireless routers uh, settings. And then if I flip over to the 5 gigahertz, you can see that there's really no, no bleed over here. And that's primarily because the, the 5 gigahertz bands are designed like that with no overlay, the way that, uh, that 2.4 gigahertz has sort of a bleeding into each other's channels. Alrighty, everybody, that's going to wrap up this overview of this AC600 Wi-Fi extender from Amped Wireless. Don't forget, if you liked what you saw today, to click the like button. If you haven't already done so, click subscribe to any of our various YouTube channels, and we will see you guys very soon.